Hey Virgo, it's Goddess Pup, and this is your next 48 hours for February 16th to the 17th of 2022 for Virgo. Let's get started with an Oracle card message for Virgo. Whoa. What is going on with my Virgos for February 16th to the 17th of 2022? What's going on with my Virgos for February 16th to the 17th of 2022? What's going on with my Virgos for February 16th to the 17th of 2022? Whoa. Let's see. All right, we have 14, which is also a five. Thorns weave together the crown you deserve. All right, we have 16, which is also a seven. Bitch fire. Stand up for yourself. All right, I feel like you're asking for a promotion or a raise, whether that be in family, friend, love, relationship. We have 42, which is also a six. Homeward, take yourself out on a date. And the overall energy is six. Dragons, you never... Oh, dragons, slay them all. All right, so the numbers could be times, dates, ages, put it where it goes for you. But I feel like you are asking for some type of upgrade or pay raise, whether that's a higher commitment in a love life or relationship, a pay raise at work. Like, you're, you're asking for what you deserve. And I don't know why I'm getting this song, but like the respect song when they're like R E S P E C T. So you just like you want the respect that you deserve. So you've been putting in the time, energy, and effort. I feel like um you've gone to school or you've gone through training. You're very educated on the topic or subject, or you've put in a lot of time, energy, effort, and work into whatever this is, and you're demanding like a payment or a return for the amount of work or experience that you have. Someone's just not giving you what you deserve and you're demanding it. You're taking it. Overall energy is dragon, slay them all. You're taking what you deserve in a situation. I'm getting a lot of red, so root chakra. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or another earth sign, but let's get into the tarot and see for Virgo. February 16th to the 17th of 2022 for Virgo. February 16th to the 17th of 2022 for Virgo. Next 48 hours for Virgo. I'm doing all the earth signs tonight, so you may want to check those other signs out. <laughs> all right, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, oh my gosh, amazing. So you could work for a very wealthy company or family or just a big family or like um, a family business for some of you. We have the Queen of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The moon card Pisces, so definitely a Pisces is involved, or you may have it highly aspected in your chart. We have the morning, so we have the moon in the morning. So you may have heard from a water sign tonight, a Pisces in particular, and you get some type of um, reward in the morning. It's a, a inheritance or some type of wealth or business or money or something, something to do with um, inheritance. Now, inheritance in readings is not always money. You can inherit a business, a gift like some type of uh, creative ability or psychic ability or something. It's something that's been passed down. It's very genetic. It comes from a, a family. And I feel like there's a water sign in your family, possibly a Pisces with the moon card or a high priestess, someone who's um, spiritually inept or not inept, sorry, spiritually talented. <laughs> um, you may hear from them tonight and you get the message or the gift in the morning. Or it could be vice versa. I feel like in the morning is when you receive the Ten of Pentacles, whatever that means for you. So this Pisces or this water sign is delivering a message to you. Overall energy is the Six of Wands. Um, public acknowledgement, praise, victory, and success. So yeah, you hear from a water sign at night and then something great happens for you in the morning. So you get a forewarning. It could be in a dream for some of you. You get a very good message. And it's because of something you did. You stood up for yourself or you fought for what was right or what you deserved. And a water sign tells you that's the right thing to do or that was the right thing to do. And you get a great message in the morning. You get the six of wands in the morning. But let me clarify this. I feel like it has something to do. For some of you, it is physical wealth, money, inheritance, or business. For others of you, it's gifts that you inherited. But it's like public acknowledgement and praise from others that you did the right thing. And because of what you did, you succeeded, you get what you were fighting for. But for some of you other people, you fought for other people as well. And um, you helped them get what they deserved as well. So maybe some of you were underpaid at work. Clarify this for Virgo. Clarify this message for Virgo. 
this is work related of course it is virgo a freaking course it is for some of you it's and this is definitely family and um has to do with what what's rightfully yours what you own Clarify this for Virgo. I'm gonna give you two more shuffles. Clarify this message for Virgo. Last one. Clarify this message for my Virgos, please. Thank you. Spirit. All right. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. It's an Eight of Swords. I feel like that's you. You worked really hard for this, trying to win it all costs. You definitely put in the work. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles. So spirits, like I said, what I said. Um, definitely an inheritance wealth a strong lineage that it's like so much wealth you can pass it down but i feel like it's being given to you or it's a business being given to you or a gift from the family queen of cups the strength card leo and the knight of pentacles yeah something that this water sign worked very hard for they're passing it down to you Clarifying the moon card is a page of wands. Yeah, you get a, a surprise message. King of Swords. Yeah, some of you are being surprised by... Um, you find out that you're related to someone that you did not know you were related to. You had um, a, a sibling, like a... What is it? A half-sibling. When a, either the mother or the father had um, a child with someone else. Some of you are figuring that out at night. Or a message was, was sent to you at night and you don't see it till the morning, possibly. Clarifying the morning is a two of wands. Trying to find out whether or not you should go out to this person. And you have the nine of pentacles. Yeah. So you get a message at night about some money that was left for you or some money that's owed to you and the this water sign or this leo finds the strength to let you know this they worked really hard for this to, and left that to you a water sign left this to you or a leo left this to you and you get the message from an air sign possibly or someone tried to hide this because the moon card and the page of wands yeah someone tried to hide this message it could have been an air sign of course he was gemini but it's going to be a different sign for everyone. But someone tried to keep this message from you. Someone left you um, an inheritance, wealth, money. Someone tried their hardest to give it to you, too. The Knight of, of Swords trying to win at all cost and, and give you this. Um, this this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Leo tried really hard. They worked really hard to leave this to you. But there was a, a lawyer or a water sign. I mean, sorry, a lawyer or a air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a Pisces. It could have been a fire sign, Leo, who hid this from you. Put the signs where they go. It's going to be different for everyone. Over on you, the page of swords, but someone finds it and someone sends you that message. Yeah, so there was money or a business or something that was meant for you for a very long time. Someone's been fighting to give that to you. Someone worked really hard to leave it to you, but someone tried to hide it. But now it's yours, Nine of Pentacles. Then it's because you created the Nine of Pentacles for yourself anyway. Or you put yourself in the spotlight anyway. And that's how it's delivered to you. Or this was just meant to happen. You have financial independence. And it's going to be made public in the next 48 hours. Somehow, some way, whether it's at work or within the family, your financial independence is going to be made public. Or business is going to be handed down to you. Over on it's used the Six of Wands, um, public acknowledgement, victory, and success. And the Page of Swords, because of some documents or a message, I feel like it's an email or a letter that someone sends to you and allows you to realize um, you have this Ten of Pentacles that's been waiting for you. I also feel like you've been building it up for yourself anyway. All right, but you're going to find out that um, your energy and the Nine of Pentacles that you built up was mirrored with a... Um, a relative of yours that left this for you all right i'm gonna leave it there because this is about money i'm just gonna be honest this is about money and family and this reading resonated don't forget to give me a like comment subscribe or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me all of my information is in the description box below if you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry her etsy is linked in the description box below as well i send you peace blessings and love namaste